Okay, let's go ahead and do a speed test. I am in my shop at my bench with my shop door closed. So let's see what we get for a signal. Dang, downloads 5.03. Upload 2.61, so we got a 5.03 and a 2.61. What's up guys, my name is Ray. Welcome back to Ray Ray Can Do It. Today we're gonna unbox, install, and review the Adelove Gigabit Wireless Bridge for outdoor. This is going to send internet from my house through a bridge out here to my shop, through another router, wireless router, and that way I can have internet out here in the back part of the property in my shop, my other buildings, all of that. So. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed, see what all we have, get it installed, set up, and see what we got. As you can see, here is the signal that we have right now out in the shop with the door closed. I did speed test by Ookla, so we will do the same speed test when we're done, and we'll see the huge difference that we have. So guys, please like, subscribe, comment. Definitely appreciate it. Let's get this done. Okay, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. We have some boxes in a box. Two boxes. Okay, this is a wireless CPE, enterprise level indoor and outdoor AI CPE. It's IP65 rated, full channel, works for all regions, fast networking, OSI level two, DC and power over ethernet. Let's go ahead and open this up. I said it is the Add a love wireless bridge, two hose clamps. We have some ethernet cables. Here's our transmitter and receiver. Here's our power for power over ethernet for both sides. Box number two, Let's see what we got here. Some more hose clamps, it's hardware. Little simple installation instructions and we have our two mounting brackets. Go ahead and open these up. You know, I got a knife right there in front of me I could use, but I'm hard-headed. Another pack of hardware, this box out of the way. Okay, we got our two mountain brackets. Hold on. Oh, I got an A and a B. Transmitter and receiver. I'm assuming A is gonna be the transmitter. B should be the receiver. Find out here in a second. Okay, on the side of this, it has a bar with a bunch of LED lights. It's got your WLAN indicator, your signal one to signal four signal lights, 1000 megabits per second LAN two port, 100 megabits per second LAN one port, and then a power indicator. On the bottom, take this cover off. On the bottom, you're gonna have a reset button on the far left. You're gonna have your 100 megabits per second LAN port. You have an A and B button at the bottom. You got your digital tube. Then you're gonna have your 1000 megabits per second LAN port, a DC jack, and then also, um, that. Oh, I'm sorry, this is your, um, that is your slave bridge indicator. That should be on both A and B. Okay, your A to B button. Pushing the button to A indicates that the bridge acts as the master bridge, the transmitter. 
Pushing the button to B indicates that the bridge acts as a slave bridge, the receiver. So we're gonna leave them on A and B. They already have A and B on the back, so we'll leave this as the transmitter. We'll have B as a receiver. The reset button, short press once to toggle different character to pairing. Press and hold for 10 seconds to reset the wireless bridge. LAN one port, the 100 megabits per second. Adaptive RJ45 port also can be used as a power over ethernet port. The LAN 2 port is a 1000 megabits per second adaptive RJ45 port, which also can be used as a power over ethernet port. Digital tubes, know the current configuration character through the digital tube. And then your DC is 12 volts, one amp. It's a DC power. All right, guys, here are the specifications for this product. I'm not gonna go through and read them all, but here's what they are, y'all can look at. Let's just go ahead and get these set up, installed, and I will explain to you what I'm doing as I do it, and we'll see how it works out here in the shop. Okay, we got the master bridge mode going from the motor and the wireless router, PoE adapter to the transmitter at the house, to the receiver out here in the shop, to a PoE adapter, it's power over ethernet adapter, to my router, and then my wireless router connect to whatever I want. To hook this up, I'm gonna use a receiver to demonstrate both sides. If this was the transmitter, you would come, take your Cat5, said I am using the 1000 for the LAN, plug into there. It's gonna go to, on your power supply, it's gonna go to your PoE, power over ethernet. And then on the other side, you're gonna have LAN on your PoE adapter. It's gonna go from here. And on the back of your modem, it's gonna to go to one of these ports here. This is your port coming into your modem. These are your ports coming out. Now on the receiver side, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna have from your receiver, you're gonna go into the PoE, then your LAN, is going to go into this side of your router, which is your internet coming in. And that is it. Very simple. You plug this into the wall, get power to everything. It'll sync together and you're good to go. There is my wireless bridge. The transmitter I have mounted on the pole at the house. That's the pole that has my digital antenna on it. It is going down there to my shop is the receiver. Let me zoom in real quick. There is a receiver down there at the shop. It has a straight line of sight, which you want for the best signal. Here's where I have it mounted on the front of my shop. Gets a direct signal straight from the house right there. As you can see on the side of it, it shows the signal strength coming from the transmitter. This is the receiver side right here. Oh, wow. That is a huge difference right there. So it looks like we have 158.96 megabits per second download. And upload is going to be 10.89 megabits per second upload. Guys, I will put a discount code in the description. So if you want to order this, I'll show you where you can get it. All right, guys, we installed the Adelove Gigabit Wireless Bridge. 5.8 gigahertz point-to-point -point Wi-Fi extender. It's with 1,000 megabits per second port and also 100 megabits per second port. We did the 1,000 megabits per second. Um... It's got a 16 dbi antenna for barn garage rv farm ip camera starlink however you want to use it we just did point to point i come out here to a uh, wireless router out here in the shop i'm able to now have full speed internet out here in my shop in the back part of the property a little bit about this it has a wide application when i was looking at the um, instruction manual 
You can have it point to point. You can also have numerous receivers. You got one transmitter, numerous receivers if you want to do cameras or multiple buildings or something like that. I believe it says it has a 60 degree angle of transmitting, I guess you could say, for the signal. Right now I have it straight transmitter to receiver, have full signal strength on both. Works great. Like I said, we're a little over 400 feet, I believe, from the house to the shop. So works awesome. Very pleased with it. A lot faster than my Wi-Fi extender I was using previously. Guys, thank y'all for joining me. Please like, subscribe, comment. Definitely appreciate it. Enjoy doing these videos for y'all, trying to show you some stuff. Um, I do test a lot of stuff from companies. They do reach out to me, like this one here is sponsored by Adelove. Um, I did not pay for this. They completely gave this to me, asked me to do a review on it and video it. I don't mind because this is stuff that I do use in my day-to-day -day life. Because now I have, I had slow internet out here before. I could use it, but it was extremely slow. If I tried to watch a YouTube video out here in the shop, it would buffer. Now I can do pretty much anything I want out here. So it makes my life a lot easier. So guys, once again, thank you all for watching. Um, we will have some more stuff coming soon. Have a lot of videos coming up. I'm so far behind right now but I'm getting it taken care of. So once again, guys, thank you all for watching and we will see you next time.